Hey, we've got a whole new twist on spatchcock chicken today. It's going to be similar to spatchcock, but we're not going to remove the backbone. <coughs> Bullfrog chicken. We're going to make a lemon, garlic, and parsley compound butter today. We're going to make sure we get it all over this chicken. We're going to season it up. We're going to make a special sauce. Hey, I get no credit for this idea. I saw it on YouTube. I had to try it. Let's get this cook going. I've got one stick of butter here. That's about, if I'm guessing, a tablespoon and a half, maybe two, of chopped up fresh parsley. This is the zest from one lemon. And I'm guessing that's about two teaspoons. Here I've got one teaspoon of mixed, minced garlic. And then you can see I've got, a, what is that, an eight, a quarter of uh, lemon juice. Just gonna sprinkle about half of that in there. Don't need too much because we've got the lemon zest. All right, this is going to be our citrus butter. Let me just get this mixed in all nicely. Got that pretty well mixed up. Now I'm gonna come in with my chicken rub. Hey, use your favorite chicken rub. There's nothing special about this. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Just give it some more flavor. If you're interested, I'm using this uh, Casa Spice chicken seasoning. But like I say, you can make up your own or use your own favorite chicken rub. You want kind of a little sweet and a little pepper or paprika. Here we've got 5.7 pounds cage-free vegetarian chicken. And what does a vegetarian chicken eat? Well, what we want to do is come in and cut just like so right along here and I want to do that on this side as well and this is a very odd angle for me I'm trying to keep my hand out of the camera now what we want to do turn this guy up like so And now all I'm just going to do is push it down, just like that. Then we'll turn her over. Now you want the chicken flat, just like you push down when you're spatchcocking. You can see the skin is preventing the chicken from lying flat and spreading open on both sides. Perfect. And then any of this XX excess, easy for me to say, huh? We'll just cut this skin away. And we definitely want to cut this wing tip off. Those wing tips will just get burnt during the cook. Let's trim this extra skin here from the back of the chicken. Just like that. You're starting to see why it's called bullfrog chicken, eh? Now we're going to take that compound butter that we made, and I'm going to work it up under the skin. You want to take your time with this butter. You don't want to tear the skin, but just work it all up under there. It will loosen up as you continue to uh, work it and push on it. And like I say, you can calm. You see how my finger's already all the way down this side. You can shove that butter. This is gonna give it some awesome moisture and flavor while it's cooking. You can see on this side, it was just a little easier to come in from the bottom. And you wanna rub this chicken up with this compound butter everywhere you can. Work it up under these thighs and legs. Everywhere you get it, it's just going to be more awesome. Yeah, I want to season this chicken also. So I'm going to go ahead, right? I've got extra butter. I'm going to use the butter as my binder. 
for this evening. Let's, let's turn our bullfrog over. Rub a little bit on all sides. Now you better be careful, right? There's some bones here, so you don't want to cut your finger with the bones. Now I'm going to use this, like I said, this Casa Spice chicken seasoning. The sauce we're going to put on here that we're going to make from scratch, that's what really does this chicken up. You get your favorite chicken rub and yours is going to turn out awesome also. Just want to season this side and then we'll flip her over and season the other side. And you can see how it's got that beautiful kind of red color. Flip her over. Just finish seasoning this up. And what I'm going to do is let it sit here. Let all these flavors marry in together. We'll go over, get our grill smoker going, and then it'll be time to get this cook started. Now I'm cooking this on my Kamado. You can cook it just fine on your pellet grill. I've got some applewood chunks here. We're going to run this grill today around 300 to 350. I want to get my plate set around. We're running a little hot so I don't want the chicken juice dropping down and getting me flare-ups. Now I'm going to let this heat up a little bit and then we're going to put that chicken on here. Our grill's up to about 300. We've got a nice smoke going. Now I'm going to start my bullfrog turned upside down. We'll get the... Uh, We'll get the, everything going on the bottom first. I'm going to turn it once and glaze it during this cook. Now it's been 30 minutes. Look at that beautiful color on that chicken. Specifically that bullfrog chicken. So I'm going to go ahead now and flip it without destroying it hopefully. As you can see here, my leg got a little dark, but I think we'll be okay. Just look at that. It's got some gorgeous color. I can see some of that parsley from the butter we put in it. Hey, let's get the lid down on this bullfrog. Let's make a glaze for this chicken. We've got one half cup of orange juice there. Next, I'm putting in about a teaspoon of granulated garlic. What I've got here, some sweet chili sauce. I'm going to put in one tablespoon, two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. And I'm coming in with some rum. We'll put about a quarter cup and I'm going to eyeball it. Maybe that's a third of a cup. And last but not least, one quarter cup of soy sauce. Now I say last but not least, we're going to simmer this here for about seven, eight, ten minutes, and I will add one more ingredient when I take the heat off. Sauce is thickening up. I'm going to turn the heat off now. And I'm going to come in and add some honey. And maybe, can't have too much on this recipe, I don't think. Maybe a third of a cup. Just stir it up. Let it all get blended in. And then it'll be time to glaze our chicken. Hey, it's been about one hour. Our chicken is up to 155. We're going to put our glaze on here. We'll let it set. At this temperature, it shouldn't take it too much longer to come up to 162, 165, depends on how you like to cook your chicken. I'm telling you, it smells great. I'm ready to get this party started. Let me get the lid back down. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Our chicken is probing. 
164. I'm going to get it off. There's our bullfrog head. There's our bullfrog little legs. Looks kind of cool, I have to admit. Our bullfrog chicken has been resting here about 10 minutes. I know, maybe a half hour would be better. It's getting ready to rain here in Florida. I want to finish this video. It's his eyeball there. Oh, I mean, this is one juicy, I don't know, frog, chicken, what have you. Let's give it a taste test. Here we go. <laughs> Extremely juicy. Maybe one of the top five juiciest chickens I've ever made. I'm sure, you know, we put all that butter. I can taste the lemon. I can taste the garlic. That sweetness from the honey. Now, with that said, is the skin crispy? It's not. I cooked around 3, 325. I think if we would have wanted that skin crispier, we would have needed to gone up around 350, 375. Don't get me wrong. The skin is not bad. The flavor on the chicken, absolutely out of this world. You've got to try this. Bullfrog chicken. Thanks so much for watching. I got two more chicken videos down below.